Welcome to Cornwall and welcome to Kernow EXP. We explore from land, sea and air and the lost and forgotten places. So we're now about to go exploring. So let's go folks. Hope you enjoy Kernow EXP, Cornwall's premier exploring YouTube channel. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to Kernow EXP. Today we're heading towards the mouth of the Halford River. Yes. So I hope you're all good. I hope you're enjoying the uh, videos that we're producing. We've got this new title video now, so I hope it's going down all right. Um, we've got two of them, so we're going to change them uh, from time to time. And I think later on we'll make even a better ones. But uh, anyway, for now, we're heading to the mouth of the Halford River. Let's go, folks. So it's been a little bit colder in Cornwall over the last uh, couple of days. And uh, yeah, that's why we've got our extra bit of um, jacket with us. So that's quite good. So there's a lovely old church down here. It's uh, a very spooky place at night time, folks. It takes on a different uh, perspective, to say the least. Right, so we're going to go down through the field in a moment. We're not going to go down through the woods. I think on the way back, we'll probably do a bit of 360. See how we get on with that. But yeah, it's a lovely part of the world. Very peaceful, very quiet. So yeah, anyway, back. All right, there we go. You'll always close the gate behind you. Countryside code and all that jazz. So I'm now back out in the sun again and warming up because that was a bit chilly under the trees there. Right. So today, the reason why we're here, we're going to mark the um, D-Day preparations. This is why we're here. We've not come down here just for a walk. We've come down here to celebrate the men that left from here that went over to Normandy in 1944. We're just ahead of this. Um, it's the, uh, the 5th of the 6th, 2024. So this place down here, which we're going to fly over in a bit, would have been quite a hive of activity, folks. It would have been buzzing. So this video today is in honour of the men that didn't come back, which lost their lives in Normandy in 1944. There is a deparkation area, which um, I'm not sure we're going to make it there today, but we probably will fly over the top of it. Um, we're going to get close, but the, um, the people that own that, their particular trackway have, uh, have stopped, um, public access there for some reason. I don't really know why, but me and Adam have covered this before. And, uh, this year is quite significant because it is the 80th anniversary folks. And there's a lot of things going on. Um, I think there's the six, there's a flotilla, flotilla of boats leaving Falmouth, which are coming up to Halford River area. Now, of course, the Carrick Roads, um, there was a lot of uh, activity there during the war as well. And yeah, it's quite an interesting thing. But this is Kerner EXP's addition to celebrate the men that didn't come back, the American soldiers, folks. Now, where my grandparents lived down at uh, Todpool, which is near St. Day, the Americans GIs were based there during the war in their tents and they had all their kit with them. And uh, yeah, it was quite a, a busy place. And I could imagine around here, there would have been like soldiers just uh, hanging around, waiting around to jump on the boats and go over to Normandy. So this is quite a significant 
video today in honour of those men. So we're going to the heli part up here and uh, then we're going to walk down through. I'm not sure I'm going to film walking through all of that, but there will be a massive drone flight today. That That is the big thing for us today, the drone flight. So you can see just over there in the distance there, that's, that's the, where they were. That's where all the ships were during the war. And uh, as you can imagine, this place would have been an absolute hive of activity. So we're not really that far from it. So we're going to do the, the drone flight in stages and see how we get on. So 80 years, folks. Such a long time. So I'm not sure we can zoom in on that over there. We'll try. There you are. That's where we're looking at. So there would have been like pontoons there with these great big uh, cargo ships taking all the jeeps and the trucks. And there would have been uh, barge balloons down there. It would have been such a hive of activity, folks. And today it's peaceful and quiet. It's basically those men fought for our freedom today. You know. Right, we're going to continue walking up here. Now, I do, I do believe, according to my historical maps that I've got, there was a, a small mobile HAA battery just up here. And uh, this would have been very active because the aircraft Germans probably would have flew over here and tried to get at those American soldiers but uh, now there is something else of, of merit as well which I'm gonna point out in a second folks but we'll get further further up here first so I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, put some historically correct music to this drone flight if I can which I think would be beneficial so yeah a lot of people don't realize how busy this was in 1944 absolute hive of activity so this is a uh, high ground here quite a poignant spot a good place to put a HAA heavy anti-aircraft battery Probably a bow force, quick fire gun, probably a couple of them I should imagine. So it wouldn't be too difficult to get that gun here really, it wouldn't be that hard. Probably that path we just walked down is probably where they drove it down to just up here on this poignant spot. Right, so we've done quite a bit of uh, filming around here. We've covered most of this area. We, uh, we were flying over at St Anthony fairly recently, which is just where the stick is, just over there, folks. Right, let's get, let's get over here a moment, and uh, we'll point out what else is significant about where we are. There was a decoy site here, folks, during World War II. Not right where we are right now, but if I just get on top of here. Now you see this here point here jutting out. That was a decoy site for Falmouth Docks and we've done quite a bit of filming over there. I do believe we're going to go back at some stage to do some more filming there. A follow-up video, which will be quite good, wouldn't it, folks? Right. So what I'm going to do now is stop filming in a moment, but uh, our journey will continue, folks. Anyway, back with a drone flight. See you in a bit.